Hey, I just wanted to let you know, I think I'm gonna drop out of art class. Okay, but why? I don't understand. You seem to have been enjoying it so much. No, yeah, I've, I have been enjoying it. I, I actually absolutely love it, but I just, I'm never gonna be an artist. What on earth makes you say that? Why, why couldn't you become an artist? I mean, what right do I have to like, I'm gonna become an artist? Like, there's no way. Who do I think I am? People don't just become artists. They do actually just become artists. You, you work on something that you love and then you become an artist. Well, I mean, that sounds simple enough. I just feel like a total imposter. Like, I'm not a big artist, so I mean, Anyway, it was fun. I appreciate it. Thanks. Leonardo, don't give up like that. We have to talk about this some more. Are you suffering from imposter syndrome? Do you feel like a fraud? You know, creativity is one of those things that we all have as human beings, and it really is worth pursuing. This book, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, is my absolute 100% go-to if you are struggling with anything creatively. She explains creativity in a completely unique way, and it, the, my favorite part about this book that she explains is that ideas are like outside entities that kind of come to us and give us these great ideas. That's weird. And it's not actually us coming up with the ideas, but thinking of it this way is what keeps ideas on tap. And I absolutely love this book. She's just a damn good author too. Just, I love the way that she writes. Eat, Pray, Love was such a great book. So if you like that book and you're into the self-help genre, pick up this book. You will not be disappointed. I always highly recommend this book. Check out what she has to say about, you know, in, entitlement and creativity. It says, I recognize the word entitlement has dreadfully negative connotations, but I'd like to appropriate it here and put it to good use because you will never be able to create anything interesting out of your life if you don't believe that you're entitled to at least try. Creative entitlement doesn't mean behaving like a princess or acting as though the world owes you anything whatsoever. No, creative entitlement simply means believing that you are allowed to be here and that merely by being here, you are allowed to have a voice and a vision of your own. That is the thing I love about art. Art has no boundaries, limitations. You can interpret it in whatever way, shape or form that you want. There's this debate sometimes about what is art and what isn't art. It's not about the person perceiving the art. It's the person interpreting the art, putting forth the art. That's what makes art art. It is our entitlement or it is our ability to be able to have an interpretation of what we see and to put it to either canvas, music, it could be anything. That's the thing about creativity sometimes that gets a little sideways for people is they think you have to pick up a paintbrush or an instrument in order to be creative. With this tool, I shall give birth to art. But you can be creative about just about anything. You can be a creative hairdresser, you could be a creative landscaper, you could be a creative interior designer, a data filer person that has to do with numbers. Anything that says I'm taking all of the boundaries and limitations and rules away from the things that have to be done a certain way and I'm gonna do it in my own way, boom, is creativity. Bullshit. Bullshit. Derivative. That I love. I absolutely love. Um, that's just the air conditioner. Boom, you're an artist. And you can never be wrong with that because that's your own interpretation. Hope this got the creative juices flowing. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow, booksters. Hey there, thanks so much for watching the video all the way to the end. And thank you for all the support by clicking the like button and the subscribe button. It helps to support the channel. Also, I'm over on um, Instagram. I do IG lives and coaching and I leave some bloopers on there as well. And thanks so much for commenting. Um, I read all the comments and I really appreciate them. Thanks. Bye.